Da 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 da. Hey, good morning. Um, I gotta check something. Good morning. What's shaking? Happy Friday. It is a Friday. Um, and I trust everyone's doing well. I really do. If I don't look this up now, I will not remember. Okay, I got it done. Yes. Thursday. Does it feel like a weekend for anyone? Uh, it feels like it's still Sunday to me. I don't know. But uh, here we go. Hey, good morning, Donald. Oh. Almost forgotten. Let's do some trivia questions, get things started off. Uh, <clears throat> Neil Sadaka had a hit called Laughter in the Rain. It's kind of an interesting worded question, but essentially, who owns Rocket Records? Uh, the Osley Brothers had a hit in 71 with a cover of what Stephen Stills song? What kind of dance did Bobby Freeman claim to do in his 1960 hit? I don't know. I would guess. Any kind of crazy dances. Watusi, mashed potato, do the hustle. Billy Muir, Blue Hawaii. I figured I might be able to get through all these records that came in in probably, oh, um, I don't know, five days, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, maybe four. And plus, I had some other stuff come in yesterday. Yeah. So we'll have to see how that goes. Yeah. But it was wonderful. I was in Wake Forest yesterday, and it was busy all day long. You know, I, I'm, I'm doing two people. But if someone comes in, like, I'm very familiar with, like, Donald, I don't mind if they come in and just have a seat in the chair and, um, and hang out until the coast is clear. So that's really cool. I have a little safe area for one guest to hang out in. Hey, good morning, Alan. Alan C. This one's going in the dollar bin. Who is this? Long, long, longies, longins, longies, longins, symphonic society, LSS. Here's an Oak Ridge Boys. Look how tall that ladder is. Sky high is called. Girl, you blew it, huh? Hope to come to see me Saturday. Good morning, Kurt. Thanks for stopping by. Good morning, Joyce. It's so good to see you. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Michael B. Good morning, Ron Beringer. Yeah, Ron stopped by yesterday, but mom's the word. <laughs> uh, so it was good to see Ron yesterday. Uh, good morning, um, two hip chicks. I'm uh, digging through a ton of 45s this morning. Are they 7-inch 45s or 12-inch 45s? Dollar bin. Um, I don't like digging through 12s. Unless it's, unless it's New Wave, which we don't have that. Oh, this, this is a dish. This is Don Williams. Wow. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm not. <clears throat> and they were picture sleeves. Oh, yeah, that's absolutely. I got a bunch of sevens in yesterday. <coughs> Excuse me. And some of them are picture sleeves, and some of them are just totally messed up. Or if they're punk rock. 
Lake Greenwood. Oh, I was thinking about the 12 inches. I don't like digging. They're sevens. Okay, cool. I don't like digging in the in the 12 inches very much. Stack so wax. I like that. Because usually with the 12 inches, I don't get very much cool stuff. Um, I get a lot of R&B and a lot of uh, hip hop. And I'm really happy for the people who find that. Let's see if we can get some of these questions answered, folks. Um, Neil Sedaka had a song, Laughter in the Rain. It was on the Rocket label. Who Who is the Rocky Rocket label? Hey, good morning, Alan. I've, I've been here about 30 minutes. And um, after coffee and vinyl, I'll be able to track it down. I'm pretty sure about that. What's this? What's this going on with my eyebrow? <laughs> So I haven't even looked for it, Alan. But um, yeah. So Osley Brothers had a tw uh, 1971 hit. It was a cover of a Stephen Stills song. What was the song? What kind of dance did Bobby Freeman do in his 1960 hit? Good morning, Marion. Happy uh, happy Friday. Hey, this is Sidewinder, folks. Fade to Black. This is a local band. I actually have a test pressing of this record. <clears throat> they were, uh, as I understand, they were, they were big in the Raleigh area. I don't know where they're from. They could have been on the East Coast. Oh, yeah. They were managed by a company in Raleigh. So I think they're Raleigh. Yeah. Wow. Very cool. It's a popular record around here. Nobody wants those old new wave punk 12 inches or seven. So you should, wish. that's probably a good idea. All right. It's acceptable. This is going to be a good find for somebody. That's very cool, Kurt. Yeah. Just send all those punk rock and new wave over there. Forget Yolanda. Forget all that cool stuff. The swim. The swim. The swim is Alan's answer. Anybody else want to chime in with some with some answers? Don't you fall. Uh, the swinging Americans, guys. These are swingers. If you see somebody with <clears throat> all white or all black and white, they're swingers. Oh, I'm sorry. They're singing Americans, not swingers. They're singing Americans. They're singers. <laughs> oh, boy. This feels like it's a dish. Oh, it's a dish and a Pringle. Oh, well. <laughs> oh. All right. Let's get some, let's get some answers so we can move on. <laughs> so Elton John had Rocket Records. Hey, Virginia. How are you? Thanks for stopping by. Um, Osley Brothers, Stephen Seals both had Love, The One You're With. Uh, the the dance is Shimmy Shimmy. Didn't didn't uh, B-52s talk about Shimmy Shimmy and Rock Lobster? Uh, all right, let's, let's try to get a little closer to today. In what year did Kenny Rogers have his hit? She believes in me. All right. Uh, Kenny Rogers, he believes in me. If scored a ways here, he probably knows that answer. Route Down the Line was a hit in 78 for which Scottish singer? Oh, I like this song a lot. Kimo Sabi was an instrumental hit for whom in 1969? I wouldn't remember that name. My Cherie Blank was a hit for Stevie Wonder in 69. My Cherie Blank. All right, let's see what this is. Pearly Shells, Billy Vaughn. Look at those pearly shells. You know, regardless of the uh, condition, it's going to directly to that. The best of the Sattler Brothers. I probably have 12 copies of this. Uh, Jerry Rafferty, Amor. 
I'm just going to put this directly in the dollar bin. Mashari or more. Pretty little girl that I adore. You're the only reason I live for. Yeah. <clears throat> right down the line was a 78 hit for which Scottish singer? Kimo Sabi was an instrumental hit for whom in 69? My Cherie Blank was a, a hit in 1969 by Stevie Wonder. Yeah. Ventures. I'm sure they probably covered it, Kurt. Um, Statler Brothers again. Oh, my stars. Look at there. There they are, folks, in concert. Uh, and you may not be able to see it, but that right there is a custom amplifier, and it's got the rolled and pleated upholstery finish, and it's very soft. Link Ray, Bobby Freeman had a hit with Come On and Swim. I was close. Oh, wonderful. I didn't even know that myself, but hey, you were close, Alan. Absolutely. Absolutely. This is going to the dollar bin. So um, I had to look at it myself, but I like the, the song Kimo Sabi, but it was by a group called Electric Indian. And uh, I love that record. Jerry Rafferty was correct. Uh, Amor was correct. And so there we go. Um, all right. Let's find some more questions. Oh, 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 oh. <clears throat> I'll take you there. It was a number one uh, hit in 1973. For what group? Yeah, Let Your Love Grow was a hit in 71 for what group? It's Hard was an 82 record by what group? Yeah. You know, I kind of like that other game a little better, the rock trivia game versus uh, AMFM. Do you guys remember that game? Of course, I got all the questions and answers and cards mixed up together. I love Chuck Mangione, or is it Chuck Mangione E? Mangione, Chuck Mangione. It feels so good. Bellamy Brothers, The Who, Staple Singers, Staple Singers. All right, this is acceptable. Oh, 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 oh. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. If you want to pick yourself up this morning, put that on YouTube and listen to it. Feels so good by Chuck Berry. I mean, Chuck Mangione. Um, I take you there. What's sta uh, sta uh, Staple Singers? Uh, Let Your Love Grow. Oh, yeah. Who did that one? Let Your Love Go. It's Hard was the Who. It's Let Your Love Go. Did I say Let Your Love Grow? I probably did. That's a yacht, yacht Rock staple here. Love the flugelhorn. Is this the flugelhorn, Ron? Is that what's on the cover? And here's another image of it. Or put it on your turntable. That's, that's totally true. Or get your butt over here and buy it. No, I'm just teasing. Um, yes. And I thought it was just a, uh, a cool trumpet. Ron, I can't wait for you to be a guest on Coffee and Vinyl. You'll break out all the horns and play it for us. And the bass. Yeah. Okay, that one's done. Let's find some more cool questions for everybody. Be sure to keep track of your questions. If you answer a trivial question, it's 10 points. If you interact here, like you're doing there with the uh, comments, it's 10 points. Um, if you're a guest, it's 750 points. And then after the video is posted to YouTube, 
after it renders and you comment, you get 20 record crate bonus points. You earned that, folks. And then um, the last day of the month, January 31st on Coffee and Vinyl, and Coffee and Vinyl finishes, you email me your total points. And then the next day, I'll announce the, the person who had the most record crate bonus points for the month of January. And you'll get a prize package from me to you. Yeah. Okay, which Ingus group released a greatest hits LP in 71 entitled Meaty, Beady, Big and Bouncy? Uh, which keyboardist uh, played with the Beatles, Rolling Stones, Ray Charles, and Little Richard? I'm not going to look at the answer. What Johnny Mitchell song contains the lyrics, I'm a country station, I'm a little bit corny? Excuse me, I gotta take this call. Okay, gotcha. Um, it's a variation of the trumpet more mellow. That's my birthday, the 31st. Well, hallelujah, we'll celebrate your birthday. Uh, the Who, The Who. Random seven-inch trivia question. Which group sing to know him is to love him? To know, know, know him is to love, love, love him. And I do, and I do, and I do, and I do, and I do. Ooh. There we go. Uh, so I get folks. Uh, which English band did Johnny Rotten belong to in the 70s? I know that one. Oh, I think I would have guessed all the answers. Turn me on. I'm a radio. The Teddy Bears? Yeah. Let's grab another record. Bobby Sherman. With love, Bobby. Oh, Ron, that might be best left to the private chat. <laughs> Kurt, you got it. Oh, Kurt got it. Uh, Donald says Billy Preston. This is Bobby Sherman. He had the coolest chair. He's going to the dollar bin. Johnny Mitchell, six Sex Pistols. Uh, this is Melanie. Something got a hold of this record right here, folks. What do you think it was? Yeah. You really got a hold of me. Yeah, the, it's split on the bottom. Yeah, it's going to the dollar bin. Melanie, someone took all your love away from this record. And now, look at there, I got a cramp, folks. Why does that happen? I eat a banana every day. Hey, good morning, Steve. <laughs> hey, Steve, I, I liked your video with that linear tracking turntable. I love those. Um, come on now. Work your way out. I think it has something to do. Uh, TC, if you like the Bobby Sherman, it's yours free. It's not in very good condition. TC, free Bobby. I'll be sure, man. Hey, John. Uh, am I going to Richmond or Lake Gaston area? Checking out. Oh, you're going there. Well, cool. Hey, reach out. I'd love to hear about what you find. I know there's a lot of people up in Richmond that are, that are, uh, you know, dealers, and uh, they're hitting the they're hitting the bins like crazy up there and, and searching things like that. You know, there's some committed guys up there. 
not to mention those really cool stores. TC, I can look and see. That's not Bobby Sherman. I can look and see if there's a. I can look and see if I have a, a proper uh, condition Bobby Sherman, which I'm probably sure I do. Would you, or you can just settle for this one. Whatever's good for you. When you get your new turntable in, TC, you got to be really careful what you play on there. Okay. Uh, so that stylus will last you for a while. And TC, as soon as you get your new turntable, just go ahead and order a spare stylus so you have it sitting around ready. So you won't be like, okay, I listen to records tonight. Stylus is bad. And then we say, I'm listening to records tonight. I replaced the stylus. Um, which English group re released a greatest hits LP? Meaty, beady, big, and bouncy. That was the Who. Which keyboard player played with the Beatles, the Rolling Stones, Ray Charles, and Little Richard? That was um, Billy Preston. Uh, Joni Mitchell's song contains the lyrics, I am a country station. I'm a little bit corny. Turn me on. Uh, I'm a radio. And, of course, the English band with Johnny Rotten and Sex Pistols. So, yeah. <clears throat> Okay, I sure will. Thank you, TC. I'll be glad to. Uh, let's do another question. <clears throat> uh, from the movie entitled Blank Ga Galadhad. Galahad. From the movie entitled Blank Galahad or Galahad. Elvis had a 1962 hit entitled King of the Whole World. Okay. Mm. Upside Down was a hit for Diana Ross in what year? What female singer songwriter had a major 60s folk was a major 60s folk singer and uh, anti-war activist? What band had a 1980 hit with the song Brass in Pocket? I'm special. Upside Down. Girl, you turn me inside out. Kurt says, uh, kid. Ron says, kid. Kurt, Ron. Donald says, kid. TC says, upside down was 1980. Kurt said, Jones by as. Ron said, the pretenders. Kurt says, pretenders. Donald says, pretenders. This is on phase four stereo. The income. Parable Matavanti plays the all time greatest hits, volume one. Looks, there's a volume two out there. Guarantee you. Oh boy, goes in the free pile. <clears throat> the three sons. Da 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 da. Not my three sons, but the three sons. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Little cheesecake on the cover. Put that down. Um, let's see what the answers are. This was a good round. Um, Upside Down was 1980. Yay. Uh, the movie Kid. A Kid. Uh, Galalahad. Kid was correct. Which female singer songwriter was a major 60s folk singer and anti-war activist? It's Joan Baez. And the pretenders had a hit called um, Brass and Pocket. I'm special. So special. And I'm, I was really sad that our radio show took that song and played it to death. Um, Still the same was uh, a hit for whom in 1978? According to the Beatles on the White Album, uh, I misread that, folks. According to the Beatles on the Beatles' self-titled album, whom was born a poor young country boy? Share Your Love With Me was a hit for whom in 1981? And grab another one while I'm here. Um, 
Morning has broke. I uh, said the answer. Morning has broken was a hit for whom? I had to reverse it. Promised you a miracle. Promised you a miracle was an 83 hit for which English group? There you go. Mother Nature's Son, Kenny Rogers, Orleans, Bob Seeger. Gotta go. All right, see, Kurt, be careful. Have fun. Do something exciting, everybody, today. Testing, testing. Do you guys ever wake up? And you're like, I'm awake. And there's a song in your head. Does that happen to you? Or is that just me? It happens all the time. This is interesting. Take it easy with the eight and one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine people on the back of this. And George Washington makes ten. Take it easy. What else could possibly have been the title for eight and one record of 56? Yeah. This is going to be interesting to research, folks. It looks like it's college and It shows the names and the nicknames and for where their hometown is. I'm guessing it's a frat house. It's kind of interesting. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. Now, this looks like it's probably the photograph for the college. It's definitely not California. I'm thinking the Seas Coast. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. To, um... Oh, wow. It was pressed by Columbia. I want to show you this, folks. I doubt we, you can see it on, on video, but let's see. Okay. So look at the hole in the center. And let's see if I can find it. I don't think I'm going to be able to show it, folks. No, it's not showing up. But it, it looks almost like graphite marks all the way around it, like a spirograph or something. But people would go to put it on their on their stackable player, and they go, <laughs> where is the hole? And, and they just left marks on it like crazy. And... Um, and that's why the more modern tables has a rounded top. Yeah. No, what happened? No, that happens to me. Okay, cool. Cat Stevens, Cat Stevens. Good morning, Jennifer. Who forgets the thumb? I'm going to do like two hip chicks and uh, turn that off, Jennifer, uh, so it's not visible. And, uh, and I, I did an internet research the other day to get instructions for that, and I just wasn't getting anywhere with it. And so uh, I might have to reach out to the two hip chicks and ask them to send me a tutorial or something like that, or at least point me in the right direction. Okay, um, still the same was Bob Seeger. Yep, somebody said Bob Seeger's. Uh, Bob Seeger. Um, according to the Beatles on their self-titled record, who was born a poor young country boy? Mother, um, Mother Nature's Son. That is very cool. Uh, Share Your Love With Me was Kenny Rogers. Um, and Promised You a, Mir Promised you a Miracle. Uh, that was Simple Minds. And uh, who, Cat Stevens was correct. Um, morning has broken was Cat Stevens. Yay, got those two done. Uh-oh, Two Hip Chicks has a question. 
Calendar Girl was a hit for which artist in uh, 1960? I know that answer. Because I love my love, my love, my little calendar girl. Yeah, I'm a calendar girl. Was calendar girl like a, was that something in Playboy or something like that? I can't remember. I don't recall, rather. I love my love. Oh, this is a cool cover. Spanish Gold, the Tennessee Guitars. Very cool. Uh, someone said Nil Sadaka, Nil Sadaka. That would have been my guess. This is interesting, folks. It's on SSS uh, International Records. I've seen that label before. I just don't remember. I don't remember what it's all about. Nil Sadak is correct. Put this over here in the gooder pile. I need to put this directly in the dollar bin. It's just not going to sell no matter what condition it is, especially when it's not doesn't even have a record. And here's an orphan, the little drummer boy. But uh I'm gonna save this for some of the 12 inch singles I don't have the proper uh, jacket for. Al Martini, does he not, Martina, does he not remind you of Pee Wee Herman just a little bit? He does me. Uh, but, you know, he was a singer uh, in the same vein as uh, Frank Sinatra. Uh, let's ask some questions. Give you guys opportunity to earn some record crate bonus points. Um Which hit by the Beatles was from 1967? Uh, which hit from the Beatles from 67 asked you a picture yourself, asked you to picture yourself on a boat on the river? Which hit from the Beatles from 1967 asked you to picture yourself on a boat on a river? Who was the lead singer with the Pips? What uh, Roy Iverson hit in 63 became a Number three single for Linda Ronstadt in 77. Which member of Led Zeppelin met an untimely death in 1980? Yeah. I think that's a cool one. Anita Bryant. Oh, gosh. Jennifer, two hip chicks. I love to see you with that beautiful hairstyle there. How do they make it happen? Wow. It's more like sculpted here. John Bonham. John Bonham, LSD, Loose in the Sky with Diamonds. LSD. Someone says LSD. We have THC in the chat. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Well, Anita's going in the dollar bin or the free bin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots of Aquanet. That's what I was thinking, TC. I wonder how hairspray cells are now compared to then. And would they have had Aquanet in the 60s? I don't know. Maybe so. Uh, the Serendipity Singers. The hairspray was achieved with tons of hairspray and desperation. Oh, boy. I guess that hairstyle was popular for many years based upon movies and books and photographs I've seen. Yeah, serendipity is in poor condition. It is a white label promo, which is right there. I'm touching the vinyl because it's in poor condition. It's going to go on the free bin. Yeah. I'm touching the surface of the vinyl. 
Uh, a musical portrait of Hawaii by uh, Hal Alamo. King of Still Guitar and his Hawaiians. Uh, poor, poor, poor condition. It's a cool image though on the cover of the guy surfing. All right, let's answer some questions. Um, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds is correct. Who's the lead singer of the Pips? Pips. Uh, who's this lead singer with the Pips? Nobody chimed in on that. Blink, Blink in the Pips. Um, which song was a hit for Roy Orbison and Linda Ronstadt? That was Blue Bayou, and it was Gladys Knight in the Pips. Which member of Les Zeppelin died? That would be John Bonham. So there you go, folks. Take advantage of those record crate bonus points. Gladys Knight, you get credit for that. Oh, my stars. I blank you. I blank you. I blank you was the second number one hit for Elvis in 56. I don't know if that means it was the second one for that year or if it's um, his second hit ever. Uh, Aquanet has been around for at least as long as spray cans. I've seen ads in really old magazines. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, Can't You Hear My Blank was uh, hit by Herman Hermits in 65. Uh, I'm Almost Ready was a uh, 80s single by which South Southern Rock Band? South Southern Rock Band. Heartbeat. Here's Jimmy Dean. All right, here's the jacket, folks. Darn, it really doesn't show up very well, does it? It really doesn't. Uh, got this. Jimmy Dean. Uh, it's going in the dollar bin. Jimmy Dean. Jimmy Dean. I like that idea, TC. That's what I was suggesting uh, to Hip Chicks and uh, and for Jennifer to do your hair like that girl in the on the record cover. You first, <laughs> you first, TC. Yeah, TC in his hair. You remember that I uh, record by the Lewis family I showed where those ladies' hair was up to the sky. Uh, this is Tommy Tommy Garrett with uh, his guitars. It always says 50 guitars. Cool name of a group. Yeah. That's cool, cheesecakey. Return to fifth uh, Return to Paradise, the 50 guitars of Tommy Garrett. Uh, guitar solos were Tommy Tedesco. And he was um, part of the wrecking crew. Yeah. Good stuff. No things. I don't have enough hair left. That would be cool, TC. <laughs> Gotta run. Take care, TC. Have fun. Let's give some answers. I blink you. I blink you. I blink you, uh, Elvis. I won't. I won't you. I need you. I love you. Um, can you hear my heartbeat? That's correct. And uh, Pure Perry Lee did the Southern Soft Rock 
Yeah. All right. Um, let's see. Oh, his first single, uh, Space Odyssey in 1973, named this English rock, rocker. Staggerly was a number one hit in 59 for whom? Blank Your Children was a top hit by Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young in 1970. She Was Hot was an 84 hit by which British band? Exactly what I thought. I'll show a few more before I sneak away. Why don't you sneak away? Sonny Rollins. Sonny looks great. Sonny came home. Teach. Lee Price. David Bowie. Uh, this is the three sons, and it's in poor condition. Uh, here's Roger Williams uh, with Summer Wind. I'm looking forward to some summer wind. And it's in beautiful condition. It's on a KAPP label, and it has a proper inner sleeve. With that said, I mean, it's, it's probably a VG plus. I'm going to put it in the dollar bin. It just won't send. Reminder auction tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern time. Yeah, absolutely. I share with everybody. Hey, uh, Marianne, thank you so much. I share with everybody about how Donna had died and that we were going to continue doing her, uh, doing the auctions that where she brought us all together, myself and Marianne and uh, Mountie Light Beams and uh, Bemos Merchantile. And uh, oh, speaking of Bemo Merchantile, and she pops up. I am up early, so hello, hello, Laura. And we'll be doing that on Melanie's Light Beams channel at um, 7 p.m. tonight, East Coast. Ray Conniff, turn around, look at me. Okay, I did it. Uh, oh my gosh, this is just horrible. Ugh. Uh, Jerry Jordan, phone call from God. God never calls me. Does anybody ever get a phone call from God? 14 minutes, 22 seconds. Is this comedy? Okay. Um, gosh. And it's acceptable. Acceptable. Random seven-inch question. 1960 song hit for the Everly Brothers, Kathy's. I know that one song. I know that answer. There she go. He usually calls collect. Those days are gone, Dawn. I'm married to hip chicks. Uh, I remember, like, you would you would go somewhere and, and, you're, and it would be a long distance call and your parents would say, if you get there, okay, call and say, collect call from um, John Lennon. And and that means I got there okay. And then we won't accept charges for that. Thank you. <laughs> Everybody's probably done that uh, if you're of that age of uh, landline. Um, she was hot. That was a Rolling Stones. Uh, Blank Your Children was Teacher Children. And Donald got that. Uh, Stagger Lee was Lloyd Price. Um, first hit, Space Oddity in 73. That was David Bowie. So there you go, folks. And she was hot. I love that Rolling Stones era. Donald has it. It was Kathy's Clown. Very cool. Yeah. Uh, this is in the wrong jacket, folks. Eddie Arnold. And they wrote down there at the bottom, Eddie Arnold. Let's see if it has Eddie Arnold in here. Eddie's in here. Eddie's going to be free. <sighs> Ooh, this looks interesting. Let's get some questions going. 
give you guys an opportunity to earn some record crate bonus points. The Boys of Blank was uh, a hit by Don Henley. Uh, from the Beatles, the Beatles, which songs begin with, which song begins with, who knows for how long I loved you. Respect Yourself was a top hit for what group in 71? Someone Could Lose a Blink Tonight was a hit for Eddie Rabbit. Talk Show was a hit LP by what female rockers in 84? I feel cold air blowing. I swear. Uh, Summer, staple singers. Dick Contino and his orchestra. It's dance time. You're the object of my affection, baby. By the light of silvery moon, moonlight cocktail. Moonlight and Roses, such romantic songs. Man, this is a thick record. It feels just like very hard plastic. Um, it's okay, but I'm going to put it in the dollar bin. Um, Hawaiian calls favorite instrumentals of the island with Al Kialoha. And this guy's down, uh, fishing. And then there's an interesting uh, little advertisement on the back. Let's see what it says. It says the C O R E Y, the Corley Company, 214 East Grace Street, Richmond, Virginia. John, Dad, come back. You got to run by the Corley Company. It's 214 East Grace Street in Richmond, Virginia. They might have some records there because this is where this record came from. Yeah, it's going to go in the free pod, but that might be kind of interesting to blog today. See if anybody recognizes that. Okay. Uh, this is a festival of dances. The Boston Pops Orchestra, Arthur Fiedler. Poor Arthur. It's great. It's going to go in the dollar bin. And he was great. i tell you one thing. Arthur Fiddler must have been a big seller for RCA. Oh, that was the last one. Hallelujah. Sexy Sadie. <laughs> Sexy Sadie. Let's, see, let's get these answers in here, folks. Hold on a second. I'm going to do it. All right. So tonight, when I'm on that auction with uh, the Flippin' Frozen group, I'll be offering a bunch of CDs, some CDs I haven't shown before. And I'll probably pull out some vinyl. And then, uh, yeah, dry, dry, dry. Okay. Okay. Um, I wonder when the pandemic will over, how many of us will still continue to sanitize our hands. Um, the Boys of Blank was a hit for Don Henley, Boys of Summer. Yay! Uh, the Beatles, uh, from the album The Beatles, which song begins, Who Knows How Long I Loved You? I Will. I don't think I know that song by name. Respect Yourself, The Staple Singers. Yes. Someone could lose a blank tonight. That was heart. Someone could lose a heart tonight. And talk show. Oh, folks. Talk show by the LP. Uh, was a head LP by which female rockers in 84? Oh, folks, we got to get that one right. 
Um, I gotta look it up real quick just to sing some songs from it. Um, All right, let's figure it out. It was on IRS, and um, I can't sing this song. Uh, I'm going to have to pull it up on YouTube and listen to it so I can sing it, folks. I'm sure I know it. Um, um, da -da. Search, please. Da, 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 t, 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 t. Um, here. Blank. Da 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 When you're running so long. Come on, get to the chorus. That girl could sing and throw that, and she wore this, the, that had the shoulder exposed. Been running so fast. That might be it. It's just one of those songs. Donald says it go-goes. I think the hook is coming up. Get over here. Let then I go. What can I do over here? That's not It's not like they really say the song title, Head Over Hills. It's like, and running so long. And she's doing that dance. And it's like she's doing the one-arm dance. And it, it's really cool. It's the Go-Go's. Have to let the dog out. <laughs> See everyone later. Thanks so much. But yeah, Donald, I, it's just like I've heard that song a million times, but I could not, I could not place it. I couldn't get it in my head. I had no idea how it went. But that is it, Donald. Uh, folks, I'm going to try to get some work done. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, hope you have a, a wonderful day and uh, cool things. So I'm in Raleigh today, Wake Forest tomorrow, Flipping Frozen Auction tonight on Melanie Light Beam's channel. And uh, tomorrow, um, probably nothing tomorrow night. And then Sunday night, try to have a good, a good amount of records for sale. And there we go. And we'll see if two hip chicks will join me. All right, everyone, take care. Namasa. I didn't get it into you. Describe her clothes <laughs> and her short hair. Yeah, have a great day, Alan. See, I'll look for your college record. All right, see you, bye, bye, bye. Take care.